So these are the Crave burgers. Crave, yep. is it Crave House or Crave? Crave? I don't even know. What do they look like? Crave House. Crave House. Let me see. Yeah, from Sam's Club. And they come packaged um, two patties per little thing here. And you get eight in here. They kind of are starting to smell like the Beyond, or yeah, Beyond Meat burgers a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking they're going to be pretty similar. And then you got in here some sauteed, oh yes, onions with the uh, uh, barbecue coconut onions from Trader Joe's. Super good for that. Yep. You know the drill. Lettuce mess put it in. <laughs> right. Now we already got real onions, but it's okay. It's okay. Texture, Texture my friends. It's okay. It's all right. I don't know how I'm going to do mine, but I got the leftovers. I <laughs> got the goods. Thanks. They look a little sus. A little bit. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We're pretty like partial now to Impossible Burgers. They're just so good. Now this is the Barbecue 101 seasoning from Trader Joe's. Technically, I just put it in a different thing. See, barbecue. <laughs> yeah, but super good. We always put that on Impossible Burgers too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just going to be a little different. You're sure it's going to be fine? I'm not sure, okay. but I'm kind of sure. I'm not sure either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, here's the verdict. I don't know if we did something wrong, but you added a tiny bit of cooking spray throughout the I cook process. The cook process because it kept smoking. So yeah, added... but that is not you. No, like, meaning, no. like, look at that. That's a lot. And they taste kind of like the Beyond Burgers, but they're just super greasy and not in a good way because I could be all about that. But I don't know, cut off a chunk and it's just super greasy and like, I'm not, I'm not into it. I don't think maybe I'll try it again, like a different cooking way, maybe barbecue. Maybe. But then we only have the flat top grill anyway out there. I don't know. But that's just kind of too much. But anyway, these, we're gonna just cook these up. I really like these. I I think you've had them before. All right. They're Chipotle flavored black bean patties from Don Lee Farms. And sometimes you can find them at Costco. I really like them. I typically don't eat them as a burger, but I'll cook it up like one and then chop it up and put it in a salad. I love that. But I mean, they're, they're good burgers too. I think they're a good size. I don't know if that's a good reference, but they are pretty big. The Chipotle black bean burgers, they're not spicy, I wouldn't say, but they are smoky. They're very smoky. So it is kind of still an acquired like taste. I know, I don't love them. That you don't love them. them. Yeah, I think they're good, but it is different. Oh, cow. These onions though are killer. They are delicious. Delicious. I'm gonna do a little bit of mustard. Maybe not ketchup on this. this one? Yes, please. But I don't know if ketchup would be the best with like the black bean one. I don't know. I mean, I'm bad. But I Jeez. love mustard. Okay. I love me some mustard. Oh, by the way, that truffle aioli from Trader Joe's that just launched. Oh my goodness, my friends. I feel like nobody talks about it really, and it is so delicious. It is. it is so good on burgers. Oh my goodness. All right. Done and done. <laughs> you gonna have that over there with your, <laughs> with some bread? I'm just figuring it out. Yeah, I'm figuring it out, making it work. I'm not happy with what's going Aww, on. It looks better this way, but if you don't like it, it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. I'm good. The onions are wonderful, thank you. You're welcome. This morning we had 93 degrees, or 94, and at 6.30 a.m., tons of rain. Thunder, like no Loud. And then that lasted for like 30 minutes, and now it's bright and sunny, you would never know, and it's 108 now? Yeah. Yeah. We went bowling this morning, but we went to a different place than we normally go. And we were not enjoying it. 
because it was like so loud and super busy but the place we normally go to is like tournament players only we need to get in a league just so we can play peacefully right uh-huh oh nate went to sam's club with me though yesterday for the first time he's never you've never been in one ever or that you can um, remember anyway i've never been in one wow i mean i hadn't really in a very long time but i have before and he liked it he says he thinks that like if you've never been in a Costco before and you had just gone to Sam's Club, you would love it. But technically, we agree that Costco has still more options. Yes. You know? Did you want to show them your, what kind of cheese? Did you do Vile Life cheese? Vile Life shredded cheese. All right. <laughs> I made it real sloppy though. <laughs> if you ever use Violife cheese, you have to put sauce on it so it melts good. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could have a better patty. Do you like it? You don't like it? I don't like these black bean patties. No, also, I mean, to be fair, you don't love black beans, so. It's true. There's that. Is it okay? It's fine. You hate it. It's fine. <laughs> By the way. Maybe I just go to Red Robin. We haven't been to Red Robin in over a year officially. And I know this because we used to go often in California. And we have it here in Vegas. We've driven past, but we have not ever gone to one in Vegas. Gotta do that. That's what I was gonna say. I haven't showed him the Liquid IV little care package. Mm. So cool! My first official little PR package. I wasn't expecting it. It was so sweet. But they just launched their new, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Yuzu, 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 Yuzu uh, pineapple flavor. Sounds amazing. I just don't know how you say that first word, but it's Y-U-Z-U. -U. I'm gonna try it out. I haven't tried it yet, but it's in there. And then they sent like a resistance band, a mat, a really cool bag for all of it. I'm stealing the bag. It's nice. Jump rope. It's just like a cool little set. It was awesome. But yeah, we, we have a lot of liquid IV. We, we took some with us too when we went out of town. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what did I have recently? The golden, I've been on the golden cherry one recently. That one's really good. I don't really dislike any of them. I just don't love the like lemon lime one just because it takes me back to when I drink way too much of it and it like oh, turns yeah. on me. I just don't like it because of that, but really it's not bad. But all the other flavors, I think they're good. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the new one that just launched. I have it like below, 25% off. Totally recommend. We love it. Dee Dee liked the watermelon one. Mm-hmm. Oh. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I totally agree. I love the watermelon one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the one I've been having. Mm -hmm. That was super nice of them. Want to them for dinner? we got to get more Impossible Burgers. Well, I can't be eating these burgers we're having right now. Mm. I'm glad you like them. These are good. I just usually have them in a salad, but I'll eat it however. Wrong. But yeah, we both kind of like Costco a little bit more because they have more vegan things. But yeah, drinks, they have like way more at Sam's Club. They have aisles of drinks. Mm -hmm. ah. I didn't look, but is YouTube, uh, YooHoo vegan? I feel like it was because it technically doesn't have dairy because it sits at room temperature. It goes on dry shelves. It doesn't have to stay refrigerated. Huh. It's got the consistency of water. It's like flavored chocolate water. I've never had you who. Uh -huh. <laughs> who did I marry? I've never had it. What? Google oh. it. Is you who vegan? <laughs> you who is non vegan. Non vegan, so it's got dairy. But it has some. I don't. Just look up you who ingredients. That's a trade secret, baby. <laughs> Water. Water? Corn syrup. Ew. Oh, whey. 
all of the way. That's why. Balls. Damn, damn, damn. So it's like a protein drink for you to make. If you want to call it that, sweetie. God darn it. So look how cute this is. We've got a mat in here, and it fits in the, did you notice that? It fits in the bag. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. And then, uh, oh, there that goes. But let me show you. We oh, yeah, have the Yuzu. Not sure. Yuz, yuzu, Yuzu, I'm yuzu, yuzu, Yuzu. Liquid IV pineapple. Did I say pineapple? Or did I say apple? No, I, I said pineapple. I did. I'm excited to try them. I'm sure they're going to be delish. I got a towel here. A bottle. And this just showed up at my door and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Gym shark socks, but they're actually like men's size. Yeah, I'm stealing them. The resistance band in here. Jump rope. But yeah, this is a, a new flavor. Pineapple energy multiplier. And if you didn't know, like obviously liquid IV is like really known for just like hydration, but they also like it has a bunch of vitamins in it too. I feel like no one really talks about that because we just look at it for the hydration aspect. And then this goes around something. I'm not sure what, but it it does. And there's all kinds of compartments in here. Ah! Check them out, my friends. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Speaking of Costco, though, they do sell liquid IV at Costco, and sometimes they put it on coupon. You can kind of find it anywhere now, too, though. But I do have a coupon for it. Coupon? I do. Baby, come here. Are we going to put you in your pool later? Oh, my baby. I'm so sorry. I know you don't want to go in the pool. But it's, keep it cool. but it's 110 degrees, so it's probably best that you go in. You know what I mean? My baby! Oh, it's okay. It's alright. Well, you know. My little one. Just a tiny little thing. You really are just so tiny and small and all those things. Yes, all those tiny little small things and things in small room. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad we had that little pep talk with one another. That's great. Yeah. Well, right. I didn't like my food. I got some oranges. I'm done. It's hot. It's 107 degrees. It's seven o'clock at night. <laughs> now I want you to do is basically like this, okay? Like bring it back a little bit like this. Oh wait, no, 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 no. You gotta hold it on the nose. Hold on the nose, got it. Holding on the nose. Good. And now, and now, and now. Hit it! Now hit it! Now you slunk it sideways. <laughs> Is it weird when your kid calls you by your first name? Okay. Call mom Kim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hesitation. No. No. The hesitation. No. Okay. That was great. Okay. So I'm making breakfast burritos again, and I use that slicer thing that I had my friends. I shared this a few weeks back. Freaking love it, it's awesome. Everything's the same size, looks all fancy, took two minutes. I'm gonna let these just brown up a little bit, and then I'll do the tofu scramble part. And that's annoying, hold on, got it. But here's how I'm gonna change it up this time. You ready? All right, so into the freezer here. Right here, 
by the way, doing a taste test on this tomorrow. It'll be out before this, so we will see. I have high hopes. This right here, my friends, is chili cutis sauce from when Evie and Jose came, and I froze the leftovers. And what we've been doing is, you notice on top there, there's chunks missing. So I'm gonna break off a chunk on the side of the counter. It's wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, Add that into the tofu scramble part. It's gonna be amazing. I gotta finish the potatoes first. But yes, here we go. All right, I'm savoring this. Even though I know how to make it now, I'm still savoring it, cause that was hers. <laughs> anyway, got my tofu, just sitting here waiting. And then I got the Carb Balance uh, Mission Tortillas again. I love these. You can find these at Costco and Sam's Club, and they're a really good price there. And I personally think they taste like the same. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Add some hemp seeds, as I do to everything. Call it good. Such an easy meal prep. Again, I'll link it up here. Uh, but I shared this a few weeks back on a vlog doing like uh, breakfast burritos, meal prep. It's super, super simple. The sun just kind of went away. And then it comes back out. It's like 110. I think tomorrow's supposed to be 114. I cannot be bothered. <laughs> All right. Thought I could chat with you guys. Yes, I'm standing like this just so I can see you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, went to Trader Joe's today, knowing it was gonna be super hot tomorrow. Got those uh, beefless. What are they called? Korean bulgogi. They look promising. I have high hopes, but I will tell you this. I just went to the store really quick. There are a couple new items. I passed this time, but there was gochujang. Is that how you say it? And it made me think of Mommy Tang. I know she always used to use that ingredient, but it's in the new section. It's $1.99. I should have picked it up, but I, I plan to go back soon. But that's new. It's in a little tub, but help me out. What do I do with it? <laughs> but I mean, I'm excited for it. It's like Korean uh, chili paste, basically. Anyway, and then what else is there too? Oh, there's a new chili kettle corn. I should have grabbed it. Why didn't I grab it? I should have. <laughs> I'll be back soon. I will. Okay, I think these are almost done. New spring water. Not super exciting but that was new. They have their olive wood boards for $24.99. I passed, look at me, restraint. Oh, I, the liquid IV bag, it's over there. We tried out that new flavor, that pineapple, the Yuzu, Yuzu pineapple. So good, my friends, like seriously delicious. However, just to throw it out there, cause that glance, I just didn't pay attention close enough. It is the energy multiplier. Whereas the majority, no, well not majority, there's half and half, I'll say. Uh, there's also the hydration multiplier drinks, which I feel like most people are more familiar with when it comes to liquid IV is the hydration one. That's what I even referenced. That's what I typically go to, but it's not to say I don't like the energy ones. Oh, you guys just know I'm a coffee drinker. I already get my caffeine fix. <laughs> Point is, just want to be maybe a little careful with that one if you're someone, let's say, that works out afternoon. Not really a problem for me. I don't. But let's say you do. And then you might want to have that afterwards. Or even right before. I'd still be a little cautious. Although it could be a great pre-workout. Let's say you were having it at like four or five. And then you work out. I don't know. You'd have to test it because it's about the equivalent of one to two cups of coffee. So it just, depend, you know, just depends how your body like reacts to it, you know? But for me, I wouldn't have it in the afternoon. Anyway, just saying, loved it though. The flavor, amazing, so good. I just did salt and pepper, garlic powder, garlic, onion powder. Nate's back to work. Feels weird, because he's actually been off for a while. Uh, I think this was technically his longest vacation. Technically, it was like a solid two weeks. He's done close to that in the past, but it's been more like just shy of two weeks. But this was solid. It was good. That's so good. But Nate's actually gonna probably be home in like 
15 minutes or so. And I'm thinking he can wrap these up. He's a good burrito wrapper. I'm not. Okay. So I'm gonna show you something else. I don't know. Do you ever just watch, walk through your kitchen like this? <laughs> I do. But yeah, kind of quiet day. Like I said, I went to Trader Joe's and picked that up. There was nothing else though. I can't think of any. Oh, they had like a jarred fresh pineapple something that was like new in the new section, but not anything like too special. Got to work out in super early crazy though because I in my head I'm like okay if I wake up extra early then I can beat the heat it's actually not true here <laughs> it's not it is still cooling down from the night before at like 5 a.m. so technically technically like the coolest time in Vegas technically is like 6 30 a.m. which is actually ideal for me but I was just thinking in my head I could beat the heat and like go earlier no no, you can't. <laughs> uh, but when I went this morning, it was like 95 at 6.30. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> well, we get it done. We get it done. Anyway. Oh, what? Mmm. Mmm. I'll put some salt and pepper, but really, it's going to get majority of its flavor. Like, I would do turmeric and stuff to make it, like, eggy. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I said it. Trader Joe's walked in, right? Straight ahead is the eggs, milk, uh, yogurts, and that kind of thing. And I just, at a glance, looked, and the last taste test that I did was that eggless, simply eggless, egg stuff, liquid, and uh, it was kind of a miss for me, but I could make it good with the whole black salt thing, right? Wasn't there was not there at all. Like it, it, there was no tag, nothing. So I was like, I wonder if they just moved it to like the true, like dedicated vegan section. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And I'll check, it's not there. That like lasted unless they're just out and they even pulled the space for it. Cause there wasn't even like an empty spot. Uh, less than a month, I would say. Yeah, I was overall kind of disappointed with it. But again, I could have made it like work. I don't know if it's going to be at your Trader Joe's anymore. I do not know. But anyway, I would put like turmeric and stuff in this for the color and that black salt for the egginess, which I could still do the, the black salt. But again, that sauce that I have frozen is honestly going to give it like the flavor, you know? When my parents came when we were uh, in Colorado, my mom, we went shopping like for groceries and stuff like before we truly left. And I was like, get what you want, you know? And, but I'm like, I had some stuff here. And she finally tried hemp seeds for the first time. She's like, what do they taste like? <laughs> and I always describe them to you guys too. I'm like, to me, they taste like sunflower seeds. So if you like sunflower seeds, I think you'll love them. And she totally agreed actually. And I was like, okay, I'm on to something. And she really, really liked them. She was put them on salads and stuff. I was like, it's just the beginning. <laughs> but I told her, get them at Costco, but you can get them at Trader Joe's too. You can get them anywhere, really. But I feel like Costco and Trader Joe's is like the best price point. But yeah, I love them. I do. Need some more potatoes. Mm. So good. Oh, here's one. I think. I think. It was on that same video with the breakfast burritos. I made the oatmeal cake. That's what we call it. Well, it's like a new favorite. You guys know Nate's been on the uh, overnight oats kick forever. And I made that like cake oatmeal thing and he loved it. Loved it. So I made it again this week before he went back. It is phenomenal. I have to say it is. So instead of blueberries this time, because I didn't have any fresh ones, I just did the chocolate chunks from Trader Joe's actually. This is my big slab that I have left. <laughs> now you can eat it cold or you can reheat it. It's good either way. I personally, for whatever reason, with this chocolate chunks in it, oh, man, 
I personally think it's a little bit better warm, but so good. <laughs> oh, mm, I don't measure. I mean, you know, loosely. Just that video, that that one. Just throw it all together. So good. I do like loosely two cups of oats in it, and four cups of liquid. The rest just throw in. And that makes like two eight by eight little square, you know, baking pans. Incredible, so good, so simple. But yeah, do you guys want me to, let me know. Do you want me to do Trader Joe's this next weekend? Overall, just from a quick little run through, nothing too new that really stood out to me other than what I told you but nothing like you know like whoa <laughs> do you want me to go somewhere else what do you think like I like to change up where I go week to week just for specifically sharing what I do here you know like I, I like to give people that have different stores you know ideas of what you can find that's vegan friendly of course that's what I do and I have fun changing it up. But I gotta say, recently I feel like Trader Joe's, Costco, I, I do like Sam's Club. I wish they had a little more organic options, but like it's still not bad. I feel like those are kind of like the best price points right now. But I don't wanna do it like every single weekend. I wanna change it up, you know? You know where I haven't been? And I feel like since we moved to Vegas last year, you want to see me do this? <laughs> uh, we've been kind of disappointed is Sprouts. I don't know, like Sprouts has not been, at least here, <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, simple. I don't know, it just, like the produce, I mean, has not been, I'll just let it melt in there, you know. Simple. Let me turn this down, let it melt, do the things. Yeah, I don't know, both Nate and I agree. He has one very close to where he works, too. Don't mind me. And so he's popped in and out of there just for quick little snacks and quick lunch or whatever, too. And then I go to a different location when I have done hauls. It's not the best here. I don't know, but I can't explain it. When I say what well, is not the best, what does that mean, you know? I guess when you go to Sprouts, you feel like it's gonna be extra fresh produce. But in all in all, in Vegas, it's just different here. Like it's not, it's fresh. But the shelf life is like a day or two. <laughs> and I'm used to like getting a full week, you know? Ice machine be on overdrive. <laughs> but I feel like when we're trying to stick to more fresh produce items, you know, it's kind of like Costco wins. Trader Joe's too. I feel like their prices have stayed relatively the same, although. On my last Trader Joe's haul, I think it was the last one. So when I edit it, right, and I put the prices with everything, I just take the receipt as I'm talking, I hear it, I go, I put it. I haven't done that for years now, right? I've kind of just like memorized what things cost too. And peanut butter. They're nut butters. They're the best. And they've like consistently stayed the same price for years. Peanut butter, $1.99. I mean, unless you're getting some fancy stuff, I don't know, but like the unsalted or the salted, creamy or, or crunchy, $1.99. It's two twenty-nine dollars now. What? We did not agree to this. I mean, I still bought it, but <laughs> it was just, it's changed a lot. I'm sure you all understand and feel it too. Oh, yes. And then remember when we made the chilaquiles, it was the tofu we crumbled really finely, right? And you don't press it or anything. I mean, you could, but like just crumble it 
really, really fine. And then add a good amount of salt. And it really takes on that co how do you say it? Co oh man, why did I lose it? Co cotija? Cotija. Cheese. I don't know if I said that right, but it does. Somehow for that dish, it does. Just salt. I made and picked up today at Trader Joe's too was stuff to make pico and then I added roasted corn into it. Oh, oh it smells so good. Yeah, it's a big ass bowl. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, it'll be gone quick. So I will link this recipe below and literally all I did though, different than that recipe, is just added roasted corn. So I took corn on the cob, cut it off the cob and just cooked it up for like 10 minutes so it browned up. Kind of like the chipotle corn salsa, right? I think in that one, they use poblano pepper, I think, instead of jalapeno. But again, I just followed the pico recipe but added that corn. So good, so good. So that you can have with your burritos too. Yeah, but literally this was just salt and pepper and then that sauce, that's it. Delicious. And really the base of that sauce is just tomatoes, just tomatoes. And then I'll show you California peppers dehydrated. And I have some still piece. These are my leftovers. That's it. And you rehydrate them by running them under water and then like taking out the veins and seeds of them. And they're not spicy then if you do that and you put that in with the tomatoes. Boil it, add some cumin, salt and pepper, some garlic, blend it, sauce. Again, we shared this, but I'm trying to say that so that I will know how to recreate it. I'm ready. By the way, Speaking of Trader Joe's, but this was a while back. My aloe plant is doing well. One of you let me know though. It's in my windowsill in the kitchen. So, and luckily my cats are not counter cats. You know, I don't love that, but I understand they're part of the fam. I got you, I get it. But I don't love that of like cats getting on your table and counter and stuff. I'm not gonna say that it's never happened but they're not really like that, which is good. Point is, one of you let me know that apparently aloe plants are really toxic to cats. Did not know this, so just be careful. But where it's at, they have not even showed interest at all, but it's doing well. We had an aloe plant actually at our last home in California out front and in a pot out front and it got massive and like sprouted new, you know, ones, the little ones off to the side. I mean, it, it took over. I don't know. Hopefully I'll have a green thumb here, but she's doing well. <laughs> How you doing? Doing good. How you doing? You're back. That's me. It's been so long. It's been forever. It's been forever. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was doing the same. Say hi. Hi, friends. <laughs> I was doing the same thing. How was work? Can you can you do it? Because you're a good rapper. That's why I put it out here so you could rap them. Eminem it taught me everything I know. Eminem taught me everything I know. I'm a good rapper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. He's the farmer. <laughs> I'm, I'm the rapper. rapper. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> How was work? Work was good. It was good? Yeah. It was a good day back? Yeah. That's good. Everything went swimmingly. Swimmingly. Oh, that is not my best work. <laughs> there you go. I went too, I went too heavy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ben, the dealership wants to buy my car again. How much? They're not saying. 
But they'd like you to personally call them. I'll call them. <laughs> Wait, I want my car! <laughs> Not only will they buy it back for top dollar, but they will also, if we were looking to get something else, they'll defer my payment for three months. Well, thanks. Why don't you pay it for me for three months? <laughs> right? Exactly. Don't defer nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this party alive. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we.